Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Kajirata Online. This is a continuation tutorial about Raspberry Pi 0W. It is either you are using the Raspberry Pi 0W first version or you are already upgrading your Raspberry Pi 02W. This tutorial might be very useful for you. So previously we already discussed about how you can enable your Raspberry Pi using the VNC and also the SSH if you did not uh, watch that video please just click the link on the description below or any link with regard to this uh, video and then uh, this particular episode we are going to discuss about another topic which is we call it as the filezilla or how you want to transfer your file from your computer from your laptop into your raspberry pi remotely as you know the vnc is basically a tool that enable you to control or manipulate or do such command and also a lot of other cool stuff uh, via wirelessly where you are actually in control of your Raspberry Pi. However, sometimes you might want to send the file from your PC, from your laptop that have uh, so much powerful um, computational power uh, to be used inside your Raspberry Pi Zero. For example, you have a code that you want to use it and then you want to implement it inside your um, prototyping technique and so on you need this technique so the first step is basically you need to install the filezilla filezilla is um, currently available for windows mac and also linux it is very powerful tools especially if you are trying to communicate and also sending um, item into your raspberry pi so i'm going to share with you the idea on how to do that so the first step um, you are going to have this host um, username and also password so I'm going to uh, use the fstp double dot slash slash and then enter your IP address if, you, if you're not sure where is your IP address so probably this is the best things that you can do is you need to go to your uh, wireless area and then request accordingly uh, but um, let me just show you at a glance using the VNC so um, I'm going to enter my credential okay which is um, already there so now I can remotely uh, use my Raspberry Pi uh, inside my computer so just to give you an idea just now this is how I know what is my IP address for my Raspberry Pi 0 W okay so now we are going to use this address to communicate and also send data, exchange data into our Raspberry Pi. So let me just repeat it again. Um, SFTP double dot slash slash 192.168.0.128 and then the username will be pi and then it is the standard uh, password and then I'm going to click, click connect. After you are doing that, then the server uh, is unknown and so on. This is a security prompt. And then automatically, you can see over here, you are actually accessing your Raspberry Pi um, core component. You can see we have a Pi over here. We got a download. We got a document. Uh, we can do a lot of stuff. So to make this one uh, much more easier to visualize the effect, let me just uh, give you um, some simple idea where I'm going to insert this letter so let's say this is a simple letter uh, from the Microsoft Office so I'm going to navigate those letter and I'm going to put those letter inside the download here and then we are going to see it inside our Raspberry Pi so to do that is basically navigate your file accordingly so I have the C over here and then perhaps I'm just going to navigate the folder that I would like to share which is inside the download folder over here and then I'm going to use this cadangan this is a picture okay let me just uh, change it into a picture I'm going to insert it inside the home dash pi dash download so just drag it and then just um, drag it straight away the file are going to be copied or are going to be transferred uh, into your Raspberry Pi function so let me just open my Raspberry Pi using the VNC so that you can appreciate the idea um, of what is happening into our Raspberry Pi in terms of um, 
the data just now that we share so now I'm already inside the VNC um, and I can go to this um, table or this uh, folder and then I'm I can navigate into the uh, download to see whether the file just now which is the cadangan over here is actually indeed available inside my uh, Raspberry Pi so I can uh, theoretically um, observe the output from here so you can uh, actually communicate and uh, send your data from the Raspberry Pi also into your computer straight away using the file Zella okay so that is the basic idea if you want to control your Raspberry Pi you are going to use the VNC viewer and of course if you already have the um, element of control so the next part is basically the element of transferring the data from here and there you might want to install the Raspberry Pi related uh, software which is in this case is SFTP double dot dash dash your address username and password you are going to use the FileZilla it is um, available for free and you can download and use it uh, to transfer your data so that's all about my sharing for this particular session I really hope that uh, this video are going to be very useful especially for beginners and if you like the content please do click those like button share it to your friend and family and do support me to subscribe and hit those notification bell so that any future updates are going to be uh, notified by YouTube to you until then if you got any comment or any questions please just drop down in the comment section of this video and see you again next time bye bye